Hello everyone, welcome back to Gom's Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to talk about few journals which are indexed in Scopus. So the journals which we are going to discuss are on uh, electrical and electronic engineering, humanities, um, and uh, networks and communications, engineering that is architecture, that is civil engineering or general engineering and uh, environmental science chemistry yes so let us discuss further so this is the first journal which is international journal of electrical and computer engineering so here you can see the subject area which is computer science which is general computer science and engineering electrical and electronic engineering and this is the important thing which you have to definitely check the scopus coverage years okay that is it should be like present okay so ensure that it is there in scopus whenever you are seeing this video please cross check with the scopus database so that it should be there in the scopus list so now let us click here the source home page it will take us to this particular page that is international journal of electrical and computer science engineering so you can see that this is q2 on computer science and q3 on electrical so this is the uh, uh, this is the level okay q1 q2 q3 or the levels and if you just um, scroll down you can see what is the issues okay how many times they are publishing per uh, year so this is six issues per year which is february april june June, August, October and December, six issues per year and here if you just uh, scroll up, okay, here you have instructions to the author, if you click here you can see the complete inst instructions like what is a checklist for preparing your paper, what is the plagiarism policy they are just concentrating on and if you want to withdraw the manuscript what you have to do, the checklist for finalizing your camera ready paper, so what are the checklists you have to definitely look into it okay so and apart from this you should also check about what are the abstract abstracting and indexing of the journal and you should know about the paper charges so that is very very important okay so they just uh, scroll up to see what are the paper charges so here uh, if you see in the home okay let us see um yes on the right side you can see quick links they have mentioned something about the quick links right so you can see publication fee so if you just click on this publication fee you can see the fees of this particular journal so there is no charge for article submission okay you don't want to pay for article submission but you have to pay 345 usd okay and if you want to know about how long they will take in order to uh, uh, respond back and everything you can check the faq okay and if the faq is not clearly uh, given so you can just send a message to the editor so how you can send you can see here you have contact us page okay so you have a contact us page in the um, uh, quick link so click on the contact us so you can see whom to contact just send a mail to them so definitely they will reply you back so let us go and check to the check on the next uh, web, uh, next journal which is international journal of computer networks and communication so here if you click on this particular um, link you it will take you to this particular page so here you can see what are all the topic they are covering okay and uh, what is the date of submission may 20 notification date they'll be sending you the notification date immediately within i think uh, within within a month and final subscript uh, final submission and publication date okay this will be effect uh, this will be informed by editor in chief so here highly selective and maintains less than 5% acceptance rate so what do you mean by 5% acceptance rate for example if you are submitting if this particular journal is receiving 100 articles they are just accepting only 5 articles okay which means that they are strictly looking into uh, their uh, scope their uh, uh, policy everything so ensure that you are doing you are submitting it properly and all accepted paper take additional two weeks okay they will be taking two weeks publication charges will be increased from okay so it is 150 usd okay and you can see here what are the other important instructions to the author let us go to the next journal which is journal of the faculty engineering and elect 
architecture of Ghazi University. So it is also there in Scopus. So if you click here, you can see um, if you want to submit your journal and they are publishing nearly. Okay, so as of now in 2023, they have published four issues. I think May they will be publishing the fifth issue. So if you want to know more about the publications, so you can see the archives. Okay, so other than this, you can click on the author guidelines. So here you can see um, the free of charge and the architecture accepts only Turkish language. I'm so sorry. So they are accepting only the Turkish language. So if you are into, uh, if you are in a different country where you will be using, you will be creating your art. Uh, article writing an article in Turkish then this will be definitely useful for you and the next one is Vietnam Journal of Science and Technology so here you can see it's a chemistry and environmental science uh, and if you click if you see it is still there in Scopus and if you click here so even this journal is not charging so if you click on this publication fee you cannot see you can see that there are no other submission fee or other publication related charges so uh, other than this, I think they are uh, publishing nearly six issues per year. So you can submit if you have any queries related to the uh, submission or anything, please leave a message to the uh, uh, editor. And finally, this is a humanities based and this is from UGC. This is indexed in UGC, uh, UGC CARE journal. Of course, uh, most of the uh, universities in India, they're accepting UGC index journal. So even this is completely free of publication fee for author. So you can submit it for free. And if you go to the aim and scope of the journal, you can see here that what is the aim and scope of the journal here. Okay, completely. And what are the page and color charges? okay so before submitting to any journal this is a general advice okay uh, so i want, just wanted to give you all a general advice before uh, a while and after publishing your journal so the first thing is you should check for whether it is indexed still in scopus so you have to cross check okay don't simply accept don't simply uh, go ahead with this particular video i am publishing this video during may 2023 if you are seeing this during june or july or august so whatever it may be please go and check it next one is you should you should check for whether it is under the scope okay so the uh, journal which you are going to submit is um, the article which you have created is under the scope of the journal okay so scope in the sense uh, they should cover uh, the subject area or the domain which you are trying to submit okay so this is scope of the journal and the third one is you have to check for the fee because this is important okay if these three things are okay with you then you can go ahead and check for um, issues okay uh, how many issues per year so if they are publishing 12 issues per year then they'll be re responding you back soon they are just publishing six issues per year they may take some time to respond you back and if it is a paid one okay paid one they will definitely respond to you soon okay paid or unpaid you have to check for this and the issues you have to check and once even if you are comfortable with the issues you can go and check for the faq in few journals they will directly mention about like how long they will take in order to reply you back like a uh, uh, normal duration of uh, acceptance and uh, acceptance uh, and responding you back okay acceptance or even responding you back this is a normal uh, common faq and if you have any further uh, queries regarding this uh, journal before submitting so in few journals you cannot see whether the fee, fee is there or not then you can take uh, the editor's uh, mail id from contact us and send them the query and wait for their response and finally you should uh, download the template properly so download the template and make sure you have converted all your uh, article into the proper uh, proper template which they have provided create uh, most of the journals they are uh, asking you to submit online so if it is an online submission you have to create an account if they wanted to send you through to th through mail you have to send it to them and um ensure to attach the cover letter if you are sending it through the mail because uh, you can during the cover letter you have to uh, mention few things which i have uh, already released a video on the uh, letter to the editor so you can check about it and finally you have to submit it so this is what the complete process of uh, uh, submitting your article so if you have any doubt regarding the 
uh, publication or research please leave your message i'll be definitely helping you out thank you take care bye bye